Hi everyone. Um, first, I'd like to say thank you. I've hit 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel, which is great. Um, I've only been doing this since August, and to have 100 people that are sufficiently interested to watch my videos, let alone subscribe to my channel, is fantastic. Um, and I've met a lot of very nice people and, and very well-informed people on the way. You guys know who you are. Um, now, I mentioned to some of you that I was considering attaching my Wellbrook ALA 1530 loop to one of my portables. I think I originally mentioned the 2001D, but it was Mateus actually who suggested to connect it to that, the SW55, for medium wave DXing because it has excellent filters. So um, I took a trip to Maplin a few days ago and bought some parts and created a, a patch cable and interface. Uh, I wanted to maintain the shielding from the uh, coaxial cable on the in the on the Wellbrook interface box um, through to the receiver. So I bought a metal bodied 3.5 millimeter mono audio jack plug, um, a short length of 50 ohm coax cable, and then a screw in type uh, bayonet uh, BNC plug. Um, and then on the end of that is a male to female adapter. So the bottom end there will basically plug straight into the cable uh, that's hardwired into the interface box for the Wellbrook. The other end plugs directly into the radio. Um, now my practical skills aren't very good and it's taken me about an hour to do that but um, I'm hoping that the shielding will be maintained and I'll be able to use these portable radios in the house uh, and uh, achieve some some good DX. Part of the reason for wanting to use the 2001D is because obviously it has synchronous detection which the Yaesu doesn't uh, and I just thought it would be really interesting to try um, shortwave and medium wave DXing with the uh, with the Sony with the synchronous detection um, and as Mateus pointed out it's for, for medium wave DXing where filtering is really important and the bands are very crowded and you often have to null out um, strong signals on uh, adjacent channels it certainly makes a lot of sense to try that with the sw55 as well so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to test this cable shortly and i'll i'll make another video uh, and upload that but um that's where we are for now um thanks for watching